Welcome to Speedway Harley Davidson. Today we are going to go out on a test ride on the new Road Glide ST Fast Johnny. So Fast Johnny is the new color for the ST models, the Road Glide ST, the Street Glide ST, as well as the Lowrider ST. We recently got in the Street Glide ST as well as the Road Glide ST in these colors. On the Road Glide ST, we did something a little special though. Do you see those wheels? Those aren't your typical ST wheels. Those are BST full carbon fiber wheels. We also added on the Screaming Eagle Olin's suspension. So we're gonna see if the wheels and the suspension change the way the ST rides. And we're probably gonna get a lot of tension while out riding because this color looks amazing. Okay, let's get her cranked up. I'm loving the Harley Davidson the design. And this paint has like a metal flake in it that looks really good all right so we all know the specs the performance the experience that the road glide street glide and lowrider sts all of the st models provide you today we're going to be seeing if these bst wheels did anything to enhance the performance the bst wheels and the screaming eagle olin suspension now we've ridden quite a few ST models here on the channel. So we have a pretty good baseline for how these bikes should feel. So we'll be able to tell you here at the end of this video if these wheels enhance the performance of this motorcycle. Now I got a question, trivia question for everyone. Down in the comments, if you can comment where did the Fast Johnny theme for this enthusiast motorcycle come from? We're gonna see who can get the right answer. Now, the BST carbon fiber wheels helped reduce the wheel weight by about 20 pounds per wheel. That's what I was told from our parts department. And just my initial thoughts, I, I can notice a difference. Is it a humongous difference? No, it's not huge, but there is a difference in the flickability of this motorcycle. Like, it makes it feel a lot lighter and more nimble than it already did. Now, to be fair, we did go up one inch in the rear on the Olin suspension. They're 13 inches. This model typically comes with 12 inch, I believe. So that definitely enhanced the performance of it as well. But I've ridden other sts with olin suspension and the steering by no means did it feel this flickable it feels like you can just throw this baby over in the corner and then flick it back to the other direction with ease like it's it is definitely a different feel typically right here on this street i'll do a pull but not going to do that we've done pulls on quite a few of these we will do a rolling acceleration where I'm rolling a little bit and I'll accelerate just to see if it accelerates quicker with the lighter wheel, which I'm pretty sure it will um, because they're a lot lighter, which means there's less mass or weight for the motor to spin or to move. Actually, yeah, we'll slow down a wee bit. We'll slow down a little bit here because this car here isn't going too quick. So that way we can pick up speed a little bit and get it down to, let's say, we'll do about right here and I'll just do a short pull. Oh yeah, there is a difference in the acceleration. I could feel it immediately. It's not a huge difference, but it's enough to put a bigger smile on my face than I normally get on my face from riding the ST model. Now, just so everyone knows, we are a dealer for BST wheels. So if you're looking for some of these carbon fiber wheels for your ST or any of your Harley models, definitely stop in and see our parts department 
or give them a call we'd love to get some of these wheels on your harley because it does change the performance when you put a lighter wheel on your motorcycle it's definitely going to give it more of a performance more of that advanced more of that premium feel as well as the look the look of this completely completed the look of fast johnny i feel like with the fast johnny model they should have came out with some wheels like this on it from the factory but you know we're always doing customs and enhancing and showing you the different things you can do to your motorcycle and we do it on these new ones so people can pick these up and it already has quite a bit of the things you may want it to do to it or may have been thinking about doing to it done for you already we're going to go down to the racetrack and take some pictures of this bike because this is fast johnny it needs photos in front of the racetrack where else would you do photos i mean come on oh yeah she is still an st <laughs> sts have that that performance boy that 117 putting out i believe it's 127 or 124 foot pounds of torque i believe it's 127 foot pounds of torque and i'm pretty sure you're feeling more than that now with these lighter wheels on here or i'm feeling more than that because i'm the one riding it right now so oh yeah she feels good around this small curve these wheels are definitely like look at that it makes it feel like a much smaller bike than it really is it it's just extremely nimble <laughs> and yes you heard the word look at that it's just so flickable you heard the word extremely and nimble on a harley davidson touring model yes it feels extremely nimble this bike feels really like the maneuverability of it is probably completely different now it just feels very very flickable it's a night and day difference now that i'm out here once you get up to speed you can actually feel that a lot more right once you're moving moving you can feel just how it oh my god look at that like very minute movement gets it going yeah <laughs> someone who's not used to these wheels you'll want to take it easy at first because you'll think you'll have to give it as much feedback as you would with the stock wheels to lean it over or to flick it and no you do not it is it's a big difference in the way this bike feels so what does everybody think about the new fast johnny color on the st models i am loving it when the sun is hitting right here the little bit of um metallic that's in there and then the white racing stripes sets this bike off yeah this bike feels good oh my goodness like it's just it feels so light when it's going into the turn let's pull over here get a little bit of a different background this time if i can pull it off there's a lot of tables in the way today i don't want to do it there uh I guess we're going out on the trip. Yep, yeah, that's where I wanted to do it. Uh, we'll just go over here and get some photos with this in the background today. Honestly, the only upgrades I would probably do to this bike now that it's gotten all of this done. Let me see if I'm shooting from that way. Hopefully, I'll still get that in the background. Let me angle her just a wee bit different. Okay, so honestly, the only other upgrades I would probably do to this motorcycle just to keep it with this classic look and it looks so good with the carbon fiber wheels i feel oh my god it looks so good um sorry <laughs> i'm drooling over it right now but the only other things i would probably do to this is maybe is upgrade the exhaust system which we didn't put one on there we're leaving that up to you as far as what choice you want if you want to keep it two in the two if you want to go two in the one and maybe upgrading the seat to something like a saddleman or if you're going to be doing some serious touring something more comfortable but other than that and maybe bars i could see a set of bars setting this baby off but other than that i feel like the bike is perfect perfect look at these wheels that carbon fiber you see that gloss they look so good and you can get some of these on your bike as well just visit our parts department 
we'll get you set up with those but let us know what do you think of the fast johnny the way we customize her just a few subtle things set this bike off make sure you're subscribed to the channel hit that bell notification give this video a big old thumbs up and comment down below but we will see you in the next one and oh yeah we're gonna bring you all of our customs